This is Evangelist George McTire of the Word of God Ministry. I'm coming to you today with an informational video pertaining to this issue, ongoing issue about abortion and about it being a women's health issue. Now, I don't know what many of you might believe, but I'm here to tell you that that issue, as far as being a woman's health issue, is proving out to not be what it is being addressed as. What it is, is a lie. Now, with all due respect to women, you are being lied to when it comes to this issue. For starters, you are being made to believe that abortion is only used as a means of protecting the life of a woman when it is determined that if she doesn't have it, it is possible that she may die. Now, earlier this month, this is December the 27th of the year 2023, there was the story of a woman being denied an abortion in her state of Texas after it was discovered that she had a condition that could prove or render her uh, incapable of having children, any more children uh, at the least, or it could possibly end her, end her life at the worst if she went through with that pregnancy. And as I said, uh, so anyway, uh, what she had to do is she had to leave the state because Texas has some real strict abortion uh, uh, guidelines for, for a person to be able to get an abortion and she didn't evidently fit the category because the only thing they were being told were, was that if she didn't have the abortion she wouldn't be able to have any more children that's not necessarily a life or death issue for her. So what she had to do is, I said, she left the state and went to a state that would provide the procedure for her. Now, I don't know whether she's had the abortion now yet or what. But anyway, uh, the point is, I am not going to get into the details of this situation seeing that I am not a doctor and I'm definitely not a woman. But as I understand it, there was a question as to whether the diagnosis being used was actually as bad as it was being made out to be. However, it is always ironic that when it comes to making their point to the nation, liberals, they always come up with an example to supply the illusion that it is something that happens almost every day or all the time. Then they spread it all over their liberal news media outlets the ones that they control and spread it out to the nation and most women are led to believe that anyone who stands against abortion has no concern for their safety but here's the point since it was legalized in 1972, there have been, on average, 1.5 million abortions performed every year. And with this being 2023, 
if you add the numbers up to this year we are talking about a little over 76 million abortions performed now surely if all of those that were for all those abortions were that were performed were life or death issues then I would not be holding the opinion that I have but that is nowhere near the case how far away is it from the actual case of it being uh, every abortion being uh, life or death well let me put it to you this way if you take into consideration things like rape incest the viability of the baby in the womb and the danger to the woman's health and combine them all together they account for just under 10 percent of the abortions performed legally in this country that means less than 7.6 million of the 76 million abortions performed are actually women's health issues so then the question has to be asked what are the other almost 70 million abortions representative of they represent prostitutes, drug addicts, loose women who like to sleep around, women who are cheating on their spouses and boyfriends, some of whom which might be sterile, which means that means uh, if she gets pregnant, the boyfriend or the husband is going to know that she's been sleeping around because he wasn't the one able to impregnate her and then worst of all we've got teens experimenting with sex thanks to the sex education they get in the public schools in this nation now here is the real bottom line to this issue know it or not abortion ladies is a multi billion dollar a year industry being led by your biggest supporter Planned Parenthood the CEOs of this organization have become almost billionaires because of this issue which they created and fight to maintain by getting you to believe the lie that it is a women's health issue when what it is is all about their bottom line or as we see in the hood sometimes it's all about the Benjamins I don't know how old you are but I am 77 and I remember when sex education was introduced in the public schools specifically as a means they say to combat teen pregnancies even some girls younger than 13 years old ended up pregnant the subject was mandated by liberal state and city governments the result was rather than reducing the rate the numbers more than quadrupled this provided the fertile ground for planting the seeds of the legalization of abortion on demand where at first it was only done for particular situations in short you are being played 
so that a few men and women can get rich off of your not knowing the real story about this issue and see that's the whole thing like I said abortion is a big money issue for the people of Planned Parenthood and, and, and that group up there and they use basically the fact of your ignorance to this issue and what what's all behind it as a means to continue to reap untold billions of dollars to be spread among them while you out here suffering and things and carrying on but we can't blame it all on them anyway because of the fact like I said most of what the uh, abortion issue is concerning is not your health issues but women that back in the 70s got tired of the men sleeping around with other women and things and not being caught and you couldn't prove that they did anything and the man said he wasn't doing anything you couldn't really uh, take them to court or whatever the case may be and, and, and uh, went out over the argument because there was no proof but unfortunately when women tried to go out and do the same thing the proof would be right there if she wound up pregnant especially as I said if the boyfriend or the spouse uh, were sterile or something and couldn't uh, impregnate them well how is she going to explain that she got pregnant unless she was sleeping around see the women's movement which like I said is all part uh, Planned Parenthood has the biggest part in it but you also have other leaders in your in the women's movement that are capitalizing off of this and the fight is not so much protecting your right to choose as they say it's to keep on funneling billions of dollars into their pockets now that's the bottom line it's all as I said it's all about the Benjamins well this is evangelist George McTire and I hope you got something from this today and I hope you think about it every time this issue comes up because it's, it's going to come up a whole lot between now and uh, next, uh, you know, at the end of the 2024 when it's time to go to the polls and vote. See how many people are going to throw abortion up there in front of your face and tell you that this particular candidate uh, is standing against abortion and things standing against a woman's right to choose that it's a woman's health issue just think about it no it ain't about a woman's health issue the one that's, that's, that's uh, saying that is probably getting some money to get you to keep on believing that and that's where it's at well this is evangelist George McTire signing off of this message again and let me say I hope that you and your families have a happy and prosperous new year. May God bless you and your families real good. Good day.